Sonar team. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can integrate Sonar Cube with Azure DevOps. In case you are new on Sonar Cube or you are not aware about Azure DevOps, so for that I have tutorials. So I'll put a link in the description which you can follow. Also, the prerequisites for this video will be that you should be having one uh, Sonar Cube server as well as Azure DevOps organization. Then only we could proceed. So what I will be doing, I'll be using a Docker container to create a Sonar Cube server, and then I'll be using that server to generate the Sonar Cube analysis report. That report will be generated inside Sonar Cube, which we could uh, view later. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we will set up Sonar Cube. So for that, we'll be going to Linux machine, and I'll be installing Sonar Cube using Docker. So I'll run the command as docker run hyphen d for the test mode. Then we'll provide a name to our container, which will be sonar dash devops. Then we'll provide a port, host port and container port. I'll be using 9000 for that. Then we'll provide the official image of sonar cube. And the version I'll be using as LTS community version. So we'll provide it as tag, click enter and container has started in case we want to just confirm we can run the docker ps command now we can see container id is there and it has been started with the name that we provided in our command okay so this is done next what we need to do to access the sonar cube server what we could do we could copy the ip address of the vm paste it in url then call on 9000 which is the sonar cube server address so meanwhile it is starting it will take some time since it is doing for the first time we will go back to our organization and before creating the pipelines we need to go to this place which is marketplace of azure devops so we click on browse marketplace and here we will search sonar this we will be doing so that sonar cube uh, scanner is installed so we will open the first one click on get it for free and Afterward, we need to select the organization so that it can be installed on our, our organization. So here, organization is already selected. We'll click on install. Meanwhile, we can go back to Sonar Cube. So if you are installing Sonar Cube for the first time, then the username and password will be admin by default. So using that, we can log into our Sonar Cube. And next, it will be asking us to uh, change the password so we will change it new password will be this and let's just confirm click on update now sonar cube has been successfully complete uh, like installation of sonar cube is done and we can cre create our project in it so again we will go back to our organization now sonar cube extension is also installed so we can click on proceed to organization now now we can create our pipeline for sonar cube analysis so we will click on pipelines click on create pipeline we will be using first classic editor then afterward the yaml format so first we will click on it click continue and select maven since our project is maven based click on apply now we will be running the job on our own agent so i have already configured and here also we'll select agent pool as my agent then in maven uh, pom file we'll leave it as leave it to package test everything we will leave it as it is these two things we can remove since we are not going to use the artifacts now we click on plus icon now if you search sonar you will find uh, these things so we will be adding these three ones first one is run uh, first one is prepare analyze configuration click add now here we need to provide the sonar cube server endpoint so this is basically a service connection that will be used for authentication so we will provide it url will be till 9 this uh, this url till 9000 we will copy it and paste it in server url token also we can generate inside sonar cube we will go to administration then users click here and 
provide the name so we'll be uh, i'll provide name as pat click on generate click on copy and then we will paste it here provide a name as sonar-con grant the access permission to all pipelines and click save okay it is already existing so i will just provide the name as con1 click on save yeah this is done next uh, choose the way you want to run analysis so here i'll be using standalone scanner and here two option we can provide the configuration first is manually providing the config first one is using the sonar dash project dot properties so in this case like we will be needing to create a new file so <coughs> i will not do that instead i will select this option so these things we can provide it here itself in project key i will provide as my project you need to remember that you need to uh, remember that uh, the project key for each project will be a different and project name i'll put it as pet clinic rest everything will leave it as it as it is then we have sonar exclusions so here what we'll do we'll add one more parameter which will be sonar dot java dot binaries this will provide the <coughs> path of the binary files this will provide as dot <coughs> now this is done next we'll be adding another stage of sonar cube again we'll search as sonar then we will add this run sonar cube analysis here we don't need to change anything and finally we will add one more stage to publish the results publish quality get result click on add here also we will leave it as it is now we can click on save and queue and save and run meanwhile it is starting you are waiting for the agent to retrieve okay so the job has started now let's see what happens if you could see here jacoco maven plugin so this is used for performing the uh, providing the code coverage and i will show you in the results how we can see the code coverage okay so meanwhile it is running what i will do I will install one plugin in our sonar queues which is cnes plugin and i will tell you what is the reason for using this plugin so for installing it what i will do i will install a specific version which is 4.1.2 we will open this right click and copy the link address job is running meanwhile i will go to container and here it's for going inside a docker container we can run the docker exec command f1 it for interactive terminal then we'll provide the container id which is this one paste it and finally we'll provide the shell we want to use bin bash click enter now we are inside it inside the container and you can we will be going inside extensions then plugins here we need to install that specific plugin i will be using wkit command right click here copy link address paste it click enter now it will download the uh, jar file and put it in the plugins folder now once this is done let's check our yeah meanwhile analysis has also been completed if i go back to sonar cube refresh go to projects you can see one project has been created with the name pet clinic which we provided code coverage is 53.6 if i open this we can see the details in like more information everything yeah so also since i have just installed this uh, sonar cnes plugin so i will show you what is the reason for installing it so we'll go back to sonar home administrator system and i will restart sonar cube server okay so sonar cube is starting we will wait for some time
Yeah, sonar cube is starting, it is showing. Restart may take some time, it depends on the speed and how soon the sonar cube is able to like start. Okay, so it is done. We will click on home, provide the username password which we set. Login and you can see installation of plugins. Since I just installed all plugins, so I will click on understand. I understand the risk. And here you can see another option has been enabled CNES report. If I click on it, you can see we can download a proper uh, report. So what I will do, I will download only the uh, word format uh, report. So let's see. Once we have selected our desired format, we can click on generate and it will started so it has been downloaded we will open it in a folder it has uh, done in zip format so i will extract it stacked it to here and okay yeah this is done we will open it and if i open the word word document you will see the report in a more detailed way you can see here Charts have been created also about the like issues that we are having in our source code. So this is like one of the really easiest as well as uh, better way to get the results for uh, results in a desired format. Okay, so this is done. We can go back to our pipelines and this is how you integrate SonarCube with uh, Azure DevOps. Now next I will be showing you how to integrate the same using pipeline. Okay, so now we'll be creating a YAML pipeline for the analysis. So we click on new pipeline and we'll select Azure Repos Kit, select the repository, and <coughs> for the initial one, we will select Maven. Okay, so this is done. Now, what we'll do for making sure that the JDK specific version is being used, the one that is already in our agent, so we'll remove this part. Okay, yeah. Next, we will go to next line. And here, using assistant, we'll be adding sonar queue stage. So we'll search as sonar. First one, we will add sonar analysis configuration. Here, select the endpoint which we already configured. We'll be selecting standalone sonar cube scanner. And here, we'll use manually. We'll provide the project key as uh, pet clinic one and project name will be pet clinic dash yaml because we are creating using yaml rest this is same then we click on advanced here you need to add one more parameter which will be sonar dot java dot binaries this is because we need to provide the java binaries path yeah this is done when click on ok Next, two more things we'll add. One is run sonar cube analysis, add it, then we will add the publish, uh, yeah, publish the results. So, this is done. Now, what we need to do one more thing is to make sure that our job is running on our agent. So, for that, I'll provide the name of the pool, which is my agent. That is all. It will create a new file and uh, commit it and push it in our repository. That also I will show. So for now, I will click on save and run. Okay. So this is starting. Meanwhile, we can open the repository new page. Here you can see one new uh, new YAML file has been created. This is the one that we that contains the YAML script for the pipeline. Now job is also in running stage. Let's see what happens in Maven. It is in test cases stage. It 
total 62 test cases are there so it will yeah so build for the uh, maven is success so rq prepare is also done then let's see analysis analysis may take some time okay analysis also complete and then it's publishing the results back to sonar queue yeah so stage has been completed what we can do we can go back to our sonar cube server and here you can see the report has been generated with the name pet clinic dash yaml which we created which is uh, if i open this in to get the more details on the issues you can see technical date is one day seven hours 65 codes mails code coverage is 53.6 it's like that yeah then it can be further analyzed based with the help of developers so that will be all for today and this is how you integrate your sonar proof with azure devops in classic editor as well as in pipelines also so thanks for watching